Well, Adam, that is E1 behind me, that dark area there which is forested. Just beyond it are the uh, Arab villages on the outskirts of East Jerusalem. And I'm standing in Mala Adamim, which is a Jewish settlement on the West Bank. And essentially, if that area gets built on, uh, in the view of the, those who oppose it, it will seal most of East Jerusalem off from any future Palestinian state. Now, critical, of course, to the Palestinian uh, demands is that they are able to establish their capital in East Jerusalem uh, as part of any kind of future dispensation that would lead to a two-state solution. And I think that the energy behind uh, the British position now, they're sort of rowing back on this threat to uh, withdraw their ambassador, but it most certainly is on the table and under for di discussion depending on how Israel reacts and, as Joey was saying, how well it goes in terms of getting a unified position from sig significant European powers like the French. But the whole energy behind this is derived from the fact that time is running out. For the first time, there really is uh, an issue over uh, tempers fugit here. There is just a few months in the view, certainly uh, of the British and the French, before the possibility of a two-state solution becomes a total impossibility. That the, the settlements are expanding so fast uh, on the first level that there won't be much left to negotiate about. And also the Palestinian Authority of Mahmoud Abbas under his presidency is weakening in the face of very robust activities uh, from Hamas. Hamas is starting to win uh, the Arab street back. It's increasing its influence on the West Bank. Of course, it's dominant in Gaza. And there is a concern that the Palestinian constituency for peace will evaporate just as the settlements uh, march across uh, the West Bank. So there is this balance uh, that uh, could teeter in either direction and lead to more violence and an end to the two-state solution in the view of the Europeans. What they're looking for here really is the Americans to join forces uh, in order to press both sides to get to the negotiating table.